Hey there, we're going to do one more strategy for this week in two digit addition. This one's going to be very useful when you are given the amount to start out with but then you don't know how much you're supposed to be adding and you're asked to find that amount uh, and they're giving you the total. So here's an example. John goes trick-or-treating and he has 35 pieces of candy. He keeps going around the block and he gets some more candy. Now at the end of his night, he has 85 pieces of candy. How much candy did John get around the rest of the block? So we want to write it out like that, just like the story says. And an easy way to solve this, we're going to call this the arrow method. It's just counting up by tens, and then if there are any more left, without we want to try and get as close to this number as you can without going over. If you'd have to go over, then you want to stop and count by ones. So the way we do it is 35, 45, 55, are we at 85 yet? We're getting close. Plus 10 is 65, 10 more is 75, haven't gone over yet. 10 more is 85, and there we are. So now we have to just go back and pick up the pieces 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And there's your answer. Now this gets a little bit more tricky, but not so much when we don't have just, uh, we're not just going to be counting by tens. We're going to actually have to count some ones on. So let's change one of those numbers and let's try. John goes walking around the block to get candy. He starts out with 35 pieces of candy. Then Ashley comes around and gives him some more candy. At the end of the night, he has 92 pieces of candy. Okay, so here, up here we had only the tens changed. The ones stayed the same. Here, the tens and the ones are going to change. Thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five. We're getting a little close. Eighty-five. Now, if we do ten more, we're going to get to ninety-five. So we don't want to go over. So let's just start counting ones. Eighty-five, eighty-six. 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. And there we are at 92. Now we just go back and pick up the pieces. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. And we always want to try to check our answer. So let's make sure we got this right. 5 and 7 gives us 12. And we'd regroup a 10. 3 and 5 is 8. And one more is 9. Or you could check it by using one of your other strategies. Okay, there you go. Good luck.